Langston Hughes was an incredible poet. And today, in part of our picture book series celebrating Black History Month, we are very happy to be sharing another new item in our cozy collection and a new find to share with all of you, That Is My Dream, by Langston Hughes, and his poem is brought to life by Daniel Miaris. It all starts now on Get Cozy. It's story time with Kiaya and Daniel. Oh, hi. It's Daniel and Kiaya, and we are so excited that we're going to be launching our Rude Rangers TV, Crafty Conversations with Kiaya and Daniel. If you're a crafter of any kind, cross-stitching, needlepoint, pottery, music, acting, baking, mixology, cooking, everything is a craft. We want to have a crafty conversation with you and tell us about your journey and teach us a few things uh, along the way. Please, if you are interested in applying to be on this great new show, please go to www.stitchingwolfdesigns.com and apply today. Kiyaya and I can't wait to have some crafty conversations with all of you. Again, apply today, www.stitchingwolfdesigns.com. Stories are such an important part of our lives. Join my friend Kiyaya and I for Get Cozy, because it's story time with Kiyaya and Daniel, where we share some of the greatest picture books and chapters from children's and young adult literature to inspire you to keep embedding literacy into your days. to fling my arms wide in some place of the sun to whirl and to dance till the white day is done Then rest at cool evening beneath a tall tree while night comes on gently, dark like me. That is my dream. The words and the illustrations are incredible. <laughs> to fling my arms wide in the face of the sun. Dance, whirl, whirl. Till the quick day is done. Rest at pale evening, a tall, slim tree. Night coming tenderly. Black, like me. That is my dream. Before we get to the favorite part of our show, Kiaya and I are going to do just a little something different, because it ties in to our craft activity. I'd like to share with you the illustrator's note that Daniel Mignaras 
add to the end of his book. I first encountered the poetry of Langston Hughes in my high school English class. We were studying the Harlem Renaissance and the role Hughes played in it. His work showed me a version of the American experience that I had never seen before, and I was profoundly moved. For the first time, I understood the raw power of poetry, its ability to peel back a facade and reveal deep truths that may be hard for us to see. This was a huge deal for my teenage self, growing up in Simpsonville, South Carolina. It's the reason I wanted to share Hughes's dream variation as a picture book. In the poem, as I interpret it, Hughes powerfully contrasts a day smothered by inequality with one of bright hope. My wish is that the story be a catalyst for empathy, just as it was for me, especially among our youngest readers. I've called my version, That Is My Dream, using a line that lies at the very heart of the poem in an attempt to make it more inviting to this audience. I have two young children at home, and my dream for them is that they'll always value listening more than judging and understanding more than righteousness. So friends, we've come to the favorite part of our show. That's right, let's get crafty. You can download a version of Langston Hughes' poem Dream Variations on our website, www.stitchingwolfdesigns.com. And using the words of that poem, we'd like you to do the exact same thing that Daniel Meyaris did. Create your own illustration in any way that you want. Crayon, crepa, pastel, watercolor, paint, however you want to do it, pencil, whatever medium you want to use to illustrate a line, a stanza, a word that touched your heart. Share your art with us on our social media, at Stitching Wolf, on Facebook and Instagram, or send it to us through email. Get cozy at stitchingwolfdesigns.com. Until we meet again, friends, stay happy and safe and healthy. And always remember, that's right, Kiaya, reading is power.